So today we are setting our electrical for our barn dominium. We're gonna break it down step by step. Hang in with us. All right, so this is what we did. My husband went to the local electrical supply store and he got heavy duty conduit for the poles and strut and straps to create the pedestal. He also had to get bolts and nuts to mount that panel to the pedestal. All right, so once we had it assembled, we measured four to five feet off the barn dominium and dug the holes for the pedestal. Now, your electrical meter can needs to be no more than five to six feet from ground level by electrical code. Keep that in mind. All right, so now it's time to set the pedestal and then make sure you level it both ways. You need to pack that dirt around those poles as well or set concrete for strength. Either way will work. Our pedestal is about three foot in the ground, so we didn't use concrete at all. All right, so now we're gonna tie in our PVC conduit from the road and then also at our temporary outlet for power. Now that outlet can be put on the rear of the panel or the side of the panel. We chose to go ahead and put it on the rear. We had to rent a trencher by three inch conduit and run it from the road to the pedestal, which is approximately 75 feet. And we had to make sure we made it 30 inches in the ground. Quick tip number one, the beauty of having this exterior panel is the fact that when you go to add circuits for exterior lighting and outlets, you have a source that you can easily tap into. So in our case, our well and septic pump runs from this exterior panel instead of us having to run conduits from the inside to the outside. So quick tip number two, any 200 amp meter can combo will do. Ours just happens to be square D because we have a wonderful friend who's an electrician and got us a smoking hot deal. Now we are done. It's time to call for the inspection from the county. They give us their stamp of approval, hallelujah. Now the power company will come out and hook up the power from the road for you and you are good to go. See, that wasn't so bad and it looks just fine and it's outside, it's not in my garage. Love it. The cost for the project included $565 for the pedestal materials, which is the poles, clamps, bolts, etc. We spent $260 on the electric meter can combo panel, $1,000 on the PVC electric conduit and fitting, $50 on weatherproof box and GFCI outlet, $200 on the trencher rental, and approximately $50 to gas up the trencher and the skid steer. All in all, we have just a little over $3,000 in this project. If you want to continue to follow along on our Barn Dominium journey, feel free to hit like and subscribe. See you later.